this video was filmed using an early access code to the new Sims 4 expansion Cats and Dogs provided by EA. Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places, but we were young and unaware. Oh, I got you, there's no reason to chase and pay.
every now, every then Tell me, come a time and again Let me be the one Can you hear what I say? Looking for a reason Driven by the heart Fighting for a season With sadness fall apart Tell me not to worry Tell me to be strong Be my true Let me take you higher, reaching for the sky, sitting by the fire, here we are at last, we'll be cutting edge, make a brand new sketch, fire in the hole, flipping holes around, we'll be changing everyone, it's Kitty and welcome to the first episode of my Cats and Dogs Let's Play Animal Shelter. I am so excited, oh my gosh, you guys would have just seen our main character Hazel's backstory, this is her. I'm just gonna summarize it for you in case you didn't get some of it. So basically, she grew up on the countryside on a farm with a loving family, her parents who are super nice, and she has two older brothers who became her best friends because they basically lived in the middle of nowhere and there weren't that many other friends around. Um, when she was a teen, she fell in love with one of her brother's friends, a little bit of an older guy guy and they had a really nice romantic relationship until he changed and they had a really bad breakup. Hazel threw herself in her studies and she has just graduated from vet school so she is a vet now and she also found a little orphan kitten a few months ago in the woods called Brownie who she took with her when she moved to Prince Elson Bay and she's here because she heard about all the strays in the area and because she has the biggest heart and she's such an animal lover, she has decided to set up an animal shelter. So that is what we're going to be playing. Hazel is going to be our main mean girl here with Brownie, our first little pet. I think uh, she's here somewhere. Um, there she is. Oh my gosh, she's so tiny. And this is our house. So basically, <laughs> Hazel inherited some money. She took a mortgage. She has this house now. It's very nice from the inside. She didn't have that much money to furnish it that well, so there's some bits inside. We're gonna work on that in the series. And she's also gonna be starting up a vet clinic. She's gonna wanna buy a vet clinic and start running a vet clinic and the animal shelter. So her home lot is gonna be the animal shelter. We are going to take in strays from the streets. We're gonna nurse them better, make them better however we can. And then we're gonna find them families in the sims and hopefully have the townies adopt the strays from our animal shelter. Oh my gosh, I am super, super excited. There is going to be a speed build of this house coming up soon on the channel as well. I use so much stuff from the new expansion. 
And we have 21,000 simoleons left to buy our animal clinic. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. I also wanted to show you guys we have the new aspiration called Friend of the Animals. And she also already did two of these. She has a pet in her household and she's friends with one animal because, you know, brownie, they are inseparable. And she also has to be friendly with animals 12 times. And I gave her the new trait. So she loves the outdoors. She grew up, you know, camping, fishing, gardening with horses. She had horses. She said goodbye to her horse, Montana. Her parents and brothers are going to take care of her back on the farm. Maybe we'll go back and see her. But she really wanted to just have a fresh start away from her horrible ex-boyfriend and move to Brindle to Bay. We are going to see all those characters later in the series that you saw in the intro, don't you worry. But so she is also a cat lover. So these sims tend to make cats their companions, preferring the company of cats to other sims. And I also gave her the dog lover one, you know, because she's not all about cats. She loves all animals equally. So these sims love to be near dogs. They will gain relationships faster with dogs and socialize with dogs more than the average sim. And it is Sunday, 8 a.m. Literally just started this safe game. I have not played with pets at all. I haven't watched any footage or any live streams or anything. This is going to be my first experience. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So let's press play. Oh my gosh. Hazel, what can we do? Pet. Okay, we can pet Brownie. Oh my god. I want to just be cutesy with this little one. Oh my gosh, she's so tiny. She's just a little kitten still. Okay, we can talk to her. We can what? Simster. We can take a picture. Oh my god, that's not really a little thing to do. Oh my god, that is adorable. Play with laser pointer. Okay, so we can do pet care, feed, pick up, and uh, we can give a treat, get to know. Uh, let's do another. I want to pet her. pet brownie again because that was just that was just so cute. I also want to meet our neighbors over there in this new neighborhood. Oh, there's someone right there. Cool outfit, dude. Oh my god, brownie is the tiniest little kitten you've ever seen. I love her. I made her myself. So she has different colored eyes. She has different patches on her fur. I think she's just adorable. And I think they're getting to know each other. Oh my god, what? <laughs> oh my god, it's called Mayor Whiskers. Are you serious? And of course, it's wearing a freaking hat like a mayor. We can chew it. We can do a cautious introduction, rude introduction, or, oh, can we mean to it? No, no, no. Let's do the friendliest introduction. <laughs> it's the first stray because this lot does have the lot traits that make st stray cats and dogs appear here. Mayor, how do you, do you like us? I wonder if the same strays will like come back around. We just became friends. That was easy. Oh my god! <laughs> Brownie's a curious cat. Try asking them, what's that? And watch them investigate around the house. Oh my god, this is the first time Brownie's going into this house. We can request a song. We can brush. How do you brush this cat? Let's see. Oh my god, he or she looks hilarious. And there's little Brownie going. Oh my god, let's let's pet this. I mean, let's brush this little one. I think he's talking to us. <gasps> and our mailbox as well. I'm gonna show you guys the house in just a little bit, but I can't get over this. Are we not gonna brush it? Okay, oh, there we go. That took a little while. Let's see. How, what does this look like? <gasps> oh my god, no way. We're just brushing a random stray cat called Mayor with a top hat. You know, <laughs> but he seems to like it. Oh, that's adorable. So here is our house. Oh my gosh. So it's it's decently sized because there needs to be some room for all the strays, all the adopted animals in here. We've got a kitchen. We've got just a bunch of extra space here. We got a dog door. Can we? Okay, we can lock it. Here is a little uh, like a living room area. We got a bathroom down here and then up here we've got Hazel's bedroom and a little cat bed for Brownie. We've got another bathroom and then this is just like a generic area where we are going to be housing all of the adopted animals. Let me just check that I have gameplay on. 
All right, I had autonomy off, but here we go. Now it's on. <laughs> what is Brownie doing? Oh my gosh. She's just going to go play on the computer. Seriously, that's not even that's not even a thing. Let's ask the pet what's that. And uh, let's see, go around. I can tell you uh, Brownie's traits as well. Oh, I don't know if I can actually, but I can remember. I think I gave Brownie the affectionate trait, the curious trait, and the frisky trait. So that's a lot of fun. All right. Okay, welcome, Lagan. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's these guys. I think they're called Brent and <laughs> Brent. That is hilarious. Invite neighbors in. Wow, Brent. You look nice. That's so nice. I think they're a couple as well. And they probably have pets too. Not that I can see any right now. Oh my god, there goes our little cat. Oh, she fell. Oh my gosh, no way. Is, is she gonna go say hi to Brent over here? No, nope. they're just gonna come in. All right, well, hi, I'm new here. Do you guys have any pets? Would you like to get some more pets? Because this is an animal shelter. We can enthuse about cats and gossip about neighbors. That's not really, that's not really a hazel thing. She's a bit of a tomboy. She's not a girly girl and she's very into, you know, studying, reading, being the best at her job. We can discuss interests and we should get to know this guy as well. So this one was Brent and that one is Brent. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious. Seems to be <laughs> Brent and Brent, of course. Yeah, look at this. We have a little like cat pose thingy over there. There's a scratching post. I didn't want to go too crazy because we don't have that much money but we're gonna work on it and we're gonna make this place amazing and the best place to raise a little cat i think we're gonna go get our what is it called vet vet place we're gonna go buy one in just a second after we're done talking to these guys i con I constantly want to like take a look at what brownie's up to because what the heck she's just the cutest and she's so so tiny like oh my gosh um, little kittens can't actually wear any clothes or color, so once she ages up, we can make her wear some clothes. Oh my god, look at her! I love her! Can she go upstairs? I hope she can. How can we check how like long until she ages up? Literally no idea, but oh well, we can check how long until she ages up here. 24 days, so hopefully about the same time or a little bit less for... Little brownie, don't go play the, on the computer, girl. That's not what you're supposed to be doing here. Let's go thank thank Brent for coming over and discuss interest. And let's take a look at this area that we are in. So we are in the central something area. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> There's four neighborhoods, but this is one of them. I love this because look, it looks like we're back on the countryside, on the farm where she grew up. There's some hay bales. There's like a little tiny airport. Here are some cows. Oh my gosh. And then that's where Brent and Brent live. <laughs> and then here seems to be some kind of a park. I haven't really looked around yet at all. I wonder if you can go there without traveling. Here is like a dog park looking thing. Um, there is what I plan to buy as our animal clinic. It's it's a budget place. <laughs> and then here is, oh, like a cute little town. Oh my God, I love it. We can't see the other towns from here or the other neighborhoods. Can you go here without, you can go here without traveling. That's great. Okay, awesome. <gasps> Oh my god, what is this? Like a cute little tiny waterfall. Okay, this ba this place is beautiful. Let's, uh, can we buy the property while we are talking to these guys? Or no, we probably can't. Oh, it's not even from there. It's from here. Okay, we have to stop trying to go play that. I'm going to need to take the computer out of here. If she, all she wants to do is play on the computer, you're supposed to be all about the pets, girl. Let's cancel the welcome wagon. Hopefully they don't get angry, but at least we said hi to them. So let's go. Let's buy a vet clinic. I think we should have just about enough money. Where is she going? No idea. We should probably go. Welcome again. Thank you, Brent and Brent. Thanks so much for coming. So let's go. Let's go. I make this just a little clinic over here. Can we not afford it? Let's see. Budget. <laughs> Budget vet clinic. Oh my gosh. That's what I called it. <gasps> We're missing, we're missing 1.8 thousand simoleons. Oh no. 
All right, I gave her the missing simoleons just so that we could get this started. <laughs> because that's our that's gonna be our job. How else are we gonna make money? So let's just get started. Let's buy this little budget vet clinic. Look at it. I made it to be in the quake zone. It's also filthy and it has the training ground uh lot trait, which means you can level up your pet training skill faster. I know nothing about that, so we're gonna find out. But Let's go. Let's purchase a vet clinic. Oh my gosh. She she has like vet scale zero, but she did, she did go to vet school. She's not like a complete new, but we're gonna see. I'm so excited because I haven't watched any gameplay or anything. So this is my first time. I hope the sounds are okay as well. Oh no, can we build? Oh, oh, okay. I mean, sure. Let's transfer. That's literally all our money. Can we bring... Uh, our little okay she's here she's here little brownies here and here is oh vet clinic ownership owning and running a vet clinic is hard work pets are like family to a lot of sims and they're trusting you to take good care of their sick furry friend be sure to hire skilled employees manage your clinic properly and level up your vet skill to succeed for more details okay please check out the vet clinic ownership lesson maybe if we get lost so here it is, our little budget vet clinic. Literally, what did it cost? Twenty two thousand. Um, yeah. And <laughs> this is not the nicest. This is where you come in. I guess we can leave the walls up. Uh, as you can see, it's, it needs a lot of renovating. So this is the waiting area. Very fabulous. We got the bathrooms over here, and then this is the like vet room with the forgot what this thing is called, but like the examination table maybe and then this thing whatever you do with that and then we did have money to put a little surgery machine whatever you would call it over here these are the bad quality as you can see so they are actually uncomfortable so the animals will not be very happy but here we are girl let's let's go into your go into your vet clinic let's see so we are currently at what is this like one star minus one star i don't even know we can open or okay let's see you manage employees i don't think we can like afford to hire anyone yet we can just have ourselves work here and then we have vet clinic settings okay price markup 100 percent. i mean sure we can start with that we can always lift it up once once we build this place to be amazing i'm super excited uh high markups need to be paired with high quality of service or customers will review the, pl the clinic poorly okay advertising we do not have money for any advertising supply quality okay so i think we need to buy some perks to get that and those are the veterinarian outfits sure sure uh sell this business no we just got it i don't know what do you say should we just start can we begin exam okay so we can't do anything with these until we have customers so I mean that's why she's here. Let's let's open it up. Let's see if we're gonna get any any customers. Someone just spawned right there. Who are you? Pet owner Justin Delgado. Hi. Um, nice to meet you. Uh friendly introduction. Oh my god, they have a cat. Patient. Oh my god, so cute. Bartholomew <laughs> A Biddlebun, sir. What the heck? Sir Bartholomew. Oh, and there's another one. Well, that's a stray. Rhea. Oh, it's funny that the stray cats are wearing clothes. Where did they get them? <laughs> no idea. So here we are. Okay. Share a love of cats. What's wrong with your cat? Oh, no. She has like... What is she doing? Oh, gosh. Compliment appearance. Girl, what the heck? Let's see this little one. So she has fleas. Oh, no. Okay. So we can do... Uh, more choice. Okay, let's do the friendliest introduction. That's interesting. That's probably because of her trait that she loves cats and all. But that's interesting if she makes all of them like be her friends immediately. But we have learned that uh, Justin is a cat lover. Okay, here we go. I feel like the game is a little bit buggy. I don't know if it's my mods or like my CC or if it's the vet clinic. What is he doing? You are not the vet. Oh my gosh. Whatever, he's just taking <laughs> taking things in his own hands. Okay, he's three stars. Okay, great. So here is the little Bartholomew. <laughs> oh, just became friends. That's good. What's wrong? We can ask Bartholomew. Um, we can greet patient. Oh, okay. Greet patient warmly. They're clearly not doing very well. Can we take a closer look at this little cutie? Oh my god. Oh, 
they're telling us what's wrong, little one. Uh, he's sick. I should probably see the vet. Treat patient. Bartholomew A means the world to me, and he has been feeling awful lately. Whatever you can do to help will be greatly appreciated. Okay, I will try my best. Thank you so much for coming. Okay. Oh, oh, we changed into our vet outfit. Awesome. So I guess we are beginning the exam now. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Are you gonna jump up here? Oh. Okay. I was like. That seems a bit odd, but no, they're gonna do this, and then they're gonna be magically lifted right for us. What the heck? That is cool. What was that sound? I don't know. Oh, 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 <gasps> patient stress level. Oh, we probably have to like click some things. Calm patient, calm pet. We can calm the little guy. He seems a little bit scared. It's okay. It's okay. So let's do, let's, uh, what should we do? Oh, skin and fur inspection. That looks like something we should do. <gasps> Acquired the veterinarian, veterinarian skill. Hazel's new skill in the veterinary sciences allow them to treat patient pets using specialized vet equipment like the exam table and, or surgery station. Level up this skill by treating more animals. <gasps> That's amazing. First episode. I'm so excited. So we're calming Bartholomew right now. He's looking a little bit better. And next up, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna search, look at his fur, see what's up with it. I mean, I can see that there's a lot of fleas in you. <gasps> oh, she looks like she's she has a solution. Let's see. Did she did she figure anything out? I don't know. So let's do exam. I don't know how this works. I don't know if we have to like figure out exactly what's wrong or what, but let's try this. Let's do another one. Let's do, let's do an examine the mouth. However, this works. Oh, you're just gonna put your fingers right in there. Oh, he's such a sweet guy. Okay, uh, we can check his chart as well. So I guess this, the lower it is, the better, because it was yellow when it was halfway there. And then we can do treatment. <gasps> Okay, oh my gosh, so I guess it's telling us which ones we know will be good. So, Parasite Killer Spray does seem like the obvious choice. We have no money. How are we going to pay for this? Oh gosh. Or maybe we do. This is our, maybe this is our household money? I don't know. Organic dis Disinfectant Spray? Alright, well, let's do one more thing. Let's do, let's do, let's do, listen to breathing. And then we will make sure we give this one a little, oh, oh, he has very smelly breath. We'll give him the right, the right treatment. Let's call him again because his stress level is going up. Okay. Oh, I can see here. Fleas. Three ring flea suckers. Oh gosh, I did not notice that first. So let's do treatment. Parasite killer spray and that should do it. That should hopefully make him all better. Let's get all in here so we can have some nice pictures because I'm so excited. This, I mean, this is uncomfortable for him and all. This guy looks nice though. This Justin guy. Oh my god, he's still on three stars. I feel like we should become friends because she is more of the kind of girl who gets gets along better with guys. <gasps> no way! Level up! Rachel has reached level two! I just said Rachel. Hazel! Yay! Oh my god, Hazel has unlocked an adorable pair of pet thief mailboxes. She can now craft swamp water, taffy, and cooler than liquid nitrogen nutrition bar at the medicine crafting table, which we don't have because we don't have money for it. Cured sickness! Hazel has completed exam examining and treating Bartholomew. He should be feeling much better now. Oh my god, and we got some money! No way! Alright, let's see our clinic here. We got a hundred! Because oh yeah, we spent 25 on on the medicine. Okay, kitty from meeting new cat friend. Who can resist these fluffy little creatures? Do we have any other patients over here? Let's go talk to our little our little kitten over here a little brownie oh my gosh I, I don't know like when do they need food when do they need anything i have no idea oh here's a new guy sammy who's a patient where's your owner you do not look like you're doing well oh my gosh they like peed themselves they have fleas they have slime in their mouth and they're very stinky oh gosh all right well let's do uh a friendly introduction to this guy who is the owner. 
what's his name? Carl Lawland. <laughs> let's do that. And then let's see if we can examine Sammy. Oh my god, he's so much bigger because he's like a full-grown dog. Holy heck. So let's do the friendliest introduction. He seems quite fidgety over here. So let's do that. Now we introduce ourselves to this guy. Now let's introduce ourselves to Sammy over there. I just want to keep playing forever, but this episode can't be too long. The intro was already super, super long. So we are going to uh, continue hopefully tomorrow uh, once we finish with this episode. I want to just post this all the time because I'm so excited to finally be doing a let's play and I want to get into the story. I want to add up some stray animals and find them new families. I think it will be so much fun and I think this is just... This is gonna be great. Okay, her fun is going down a lot. Oh no, what's wrong, Brownie? Okay, we just became friends. Did he just pee here too? Oh my gosh. Uh, we brush pet from loyal dogs. Okay, well, let's do uh, pet care. Can we begin exam? Oh, I haven't greeted a patient. I just did. How about we comfort him? That should work. He doesn't seem to be doing too well. No, I hate. I would hate if something like that happened to Brownie. Is is he hungry or what is he? Hopefully he's gonna tell us. All right, here we go. Now we can begin our exam. No, we can't. Uh, oh, he. Oh, maybe he needs to fill this in. Oh, this is where the customers come in. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. And he has a red nose. Little Rudolph. Oh my gosh. There we go. So, oh, greet patient. There we go. Well, I'll let her go to the bathroom. Oh, what is he doing? What? No way. No way. I didn't know he could do that. That's cool. So we're going to the bathroom and then we're going to greet our patient. Greet patient warmly. Let's do that. Girl, yeah, wash your hands. This is a vet clinic. You need to be hygienic. Not that this place is the most hygienic place, but we're trying. He's always trying her best. There we go. I'm not sure what's going on with Sammy, but it's not good. Do you think you could help? Of course, sir. Of course. We just became acquaintances, but we already became friends. That's so weird. Don't know what that means, but hello. Come on up, Sammy. We're gonna take a look at what's wrong with you. Seems like a lot of things, but oh, so cute. I think she or he is adorable. All right, so let's examine skin and fur for sure, because you can see that he has fleas or like little flies or something going on. And then let's do also uh, examine mouth. And then what else was there? Temperature, listen to breathing, eye exam. He had a no thing as well. We can check his jar. Wow, he has a huge mouth. Holy heck. Okay, he has mouth marks, uncontrollable drooling. And what's this last thing that he has? He has one more thing, doesn't he? Okay, we didn't figure that out yet. So how about we take his temperature? Oh, okay, we also need to calm him down. We can also move him to surgery station. That's kind of cool. Anything? Oh, yes, stinky fur. So he has mild rep repugnitis. <laughs> cool. So now we can give him the same treatment, the parasite killer spray. His stress level is going up. Oh no, it's okay, little one. It's okay. Is this gonna cure him? Yay, cute sickness. Oh my god, awesome. Good job, Sammy. Who's a good dog? Can we give him a treat or something? Let's give him a pet. If we can. <laughs> I don't know if we can. Oh, we can. Good dog. Oh, bill owner? Well, are we supposed to do that? Well, let's do that. <laughs> did we not already get paid? Bill owner. Okay, we probably did. Good. Let's praise little Sammy over here. We'll probably have to go home and get Get this guy some food, brownie, something is up with with him. So let's close up shop for today. Oh my god, yay! Excellent bedside manner. Uh, we could have growth opportunities in ambience and value of service. Okay, great. We earned 250 simoleons. Bye, bye. All right, let's go home and let's get some food for brownie and then we're gonna end off this episode for today okay we're back home in our in our little veterinarian gear we do have a food bowl over here so oh 
We can't afford it. Okay, we're gonna need to <laughs> bring over some funds so we can feed our cat. Holy heck. So let's bring over a hundred. There we go. Let's go fill, fill and call Brownie to eat. Let's go do that. Let's see if that's why he has this like uncomfortable mood going on. We're also happy from doggy and fresh air because she loves the outdoors. She's a super outdoorsy person. So let's go fill this food bowl that I put out for little brownie oh that's really cute there you go come on and eat you can come over and we should make some dinner too so let's serve dinner let's do it this garden salad so she doesn't set the place on fire is brownie coming oh oh she's so tiny that i can't see her where is she hello oh she's over here oh my gosh come on eat okay let's do this come on come on come over Nothing is happening. I feel like maybe he can't, maybe he can't go upstairs or something. Because I mean, I know toddlers can't at, at like level one or whatever. So maybe we can continue the salad in a little bit. And let's go pick him up and bring him inside. Because he never came inside earlier either. Sorry, she. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a she. She's a she. The horse is a she. Everyone's a she. What the heck? Oh my god. What the heck? No way. What is this dog gang at our front door? No way. Is that Sammy? Sammy? Oh, how is Sammy a stray? Did your owner abandon you? Baloo? Nibbler? <laughs> Emma? What the heck? Where did they just come from? All together and there's another one? Burger? Oh dear lord. Well... Um, he's puking here as well. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, there's a lot of stray animals here. More than I thought. Let's go. Let's go inside with Brownie and... Okay, we'll continue next time with all the strays and see what's up with them. I mean, I do have the lot trade where lots of stray animals will come over, but this is not what I had in mind. Oh my gosh. No, don't put him down. No, 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 no. Right here she comes with Brownie. There you go. Put Brownie down. Oh, that's so cute. Adorable. And maybe now Brownie can go eat. Can we call Brownie to eat again? If he's hungry if she's hungry or I don't know what she needs. Something. Oh, she's coming. Oh, she's so excited. Alright. Well, I'm gonna leave this part here. Next time we're gonna see what's up with this. Strays over here, hopefully we can befriend one and adopt it into our household, carry it better and find it a new home. And of course, if we get really attached, we're gonna keep some of these pets to ourselves as well because come on, we have pet, we have room for six more pets and I, I definitely want some. It's okay, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know down below in the comments what you would like to see happen in the series, if you're excited and if you like Hazel and her little kitten Brownie. I'm so so excited. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you again tomorrow for the next part of this and soon for another video. Bye-bye! Never bothered about what could be coming